Welcome to the 2023 interview series. I'm Sabrina Schottenhamel, and today I have with me another one of my dear friends and entrepreneurs, Jody Lavoie. Welcome, Jody. Thanks for having me, Sabrina. I'm looking yeah. forward to getting caught up. Yes, awesome. All right, well, I will have you introduce yourself, and then you can tell the audience how we met. Sure. So I am Jody Lavoie. I'm the powerhouse widow coach. And gosh, we met, I think, four years ago now, Sabrina. And it was 2019, and I was in pain. <laughs> I had just had um, a double mastectomy. I had had my second bout with breast cancer, and my back was killing me. And I reached out to a friend and I said, do you know anybody that can come to my house and do chair massage? Because I couldn't lay down, of course, to have a regular massage. And she recommended you and you were there like within 24 hours. And then you got me through that extreme. It was, it was bad, <laughs> the pain. And so to be able to have you, A, be able to come so quickly and come to my home and just be who you are, which was so comforting, was so helpful. So that was one way we met. And then our paths just seemed to keep crossing because I attended a Toastmasters meeting and you were there too. And I, I think you presented that day as yes. well. And so um, what a treat. Yeah. Yeah. That meeting we met at the Windy City Toastmasters Club. And I was invited by a friend who asked, I think there was a contest going on and he asked me to be the target speaker. And so I prepared a, I think it was five to seven minute speech, similar to our normal speeches in Toastmasters. And then I think there was several people giving evaluations. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Oh, that's what it was. It was an evaluation contest. So several people got up to do an evaluation and then they got evaluated to win, to see who was going on to the evaluation contest. That's what it was about. <laughs> there you go. There you <laughs> cool. go. I have, yeah. I'd like to, I haven't gotten engaged with Toastmasters yet. I would like to. And so I will be putting that on my list for 2023. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah, Toastmasters has really been my biggest transformation going from really shy and introverted to just being able to speak in front of people. And now I love what I do. Speaking on video, which I never thought I could do before, speaking in front of audiences. And yeah, it's just been an amazing transformation for me in my life. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, Jody. So what, tell us about your passions. Gosh, well, you know, I, I think I'll, I'll start with one of them. Cause of course I have, I have more than one, but really my top one is continuous learning. I am always a student of the world and what's going on around me. And I really enjoyed trying new things, things that in the past, I may have questioned like, okay, that's a little out there, but I really want to want to learn. So some new things that I'm doing, um, many of which are really personal development things, Sabrina, because I'm at a place where I'm almost an empty nester and that's happening in the fall. And I think it's scaring me a little bit, frankly. And so I'm spending time with myself. And really focusing on loving myself and exploring what it is that is going to be fun for me uh, going forward. So I'm, I'm trying new things. I picked up yoga, um, all different, different kinds. I'm doing some hot yoga. I'm doing just the yoga where you lay there and it's so relaxing. I'm doing yoga sculpt. So different kinds of yoga, pickleball. It's the rage. If you haven't tried it, it's very, very fun and great exercise and reading. I haven't been reading in like reading for fun in a while. And so every night now I'm reading a couple chapters in book. And so that's, that's very fun. Oh, I love that. Actually, <laughs> I got a newsletter from our park district 
that said they're starting a new pickleball tournament. And I thought that'd be fun to join, except for I have no idea how to play pickleball. <laughs> so I think I'd have to take a class or some lessons before I join a tournament because I'm yeah. sure they wouldn't have the patience for someone that doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> you know, pickleballers are very friendly. Uh, and the park district is a great place to start. That's that's where I've started. And frankly, that's really been all I've played is I took a beginner lesson at the park district. I moved up to a, another lesson. I go to open play at another park district. I'm in a league through a different park district. So, you know, for your listeners out there, check out your park district. There's great stuff going on there. Yeah. They really do have a lot of activities, dancing and fitness, uh, bus tours for the older crowd, if if that's what you want. I know ours in the summer will have, um, I think they go down to baseball games and maybe the zoo mm -hmm. with, as families. So yeah, park districts are really great for singles or for families. Yeah. And that I'm a single person. I'm a widow. And I love that about I'm going back to pickleball, pickleball, because you don't have to have a partner. You can just show up and, and they put you with somebody and you play and then you rotate. And that's really nice. So, cause there's so much out there that as a widow or a single person, one would feel like, eh, I don't really want to do that. Cause I don't have anybody to go with, but there are things out there. Yes, there are. Yeah. And it's good that you found that because that gives you exercise and it gives you a little mm -hmm. bit of camaraderie so you have that yeah. community that you're you feel like you're a part of that's that's wonderful absolutely next question is how did you get into your business or your line of work yeah so it's it's been a journey uh like like many people on how they've really found and landed in what gives them the most joy professionally. So really, uh, so I mentioned when we started on the powerhouse widow coach, and I found myself coming here uh, because I became a widow overnight. And, and that was scary, frankly. And that was eight years ago now, Sabrina. And it was unfortunately a tragic incident at the business that my late husband had founded. He went to work. He had demoted an employee who came back to our offices four days later and shot my husband and then killed himself on the spot. And that is not the kind of uh, news or knock on your door that you ever expect. We all read about these things happening and they just seem... A, they talk about them way too much in the news, but at any rate, they seem like, oh, okay, that happens over there. This happened in my life. And to somebody, you know, well, I know me, but you know me, like you, people, you don't imagine people, you know, that this happens to. So here I am overnight, then taking over running the business, which um, I had not been doing. I was a stay-at-home mom for my with my three daughters at that time. And I spent two and a half years uh, running the business with an amazing team. Um, they, I, I'm going to give them full credit. They did all the heavy lifting, Sabrina, and I am immensely grateful for them. Uh, but got to a place to um, sell the business, which I did. At which point I'm like, okay, what is it that I want to do? And I'm sure you have listeners out there that are like, I really want to make a change in my career, and but I have no idea how to go about it. And that's really where I was. And so I, I like to start at the beginning. Of it. And so I, I hired a coach to say, okay, what is it that I like to do? And how do I monetize that? And, and and make it happen, frankly. So over a period of time, I, I knew that I really liked working with women. I really liked working with women in the workplace because I enjoy it, helping them advance in their careers, helping them shine. So I knew that was one component that I really wanted. And then there was this widow component of, I've learned so much along the way of 
you know, throughout all the reading I did and training I did and experiences I had and uh, that I wanted to be able to share that with widows because it it's hard. You don't know where to start. So I'm, I'm able to help them through a time in their life that's incredibly difficult. Wonderful. I have a friend who is a recent widow. Uh, he's a man and I met him through Toastmasters too. And I've just been trying to support him any way I can, you know, check in with him and send him some messages. And uh, one of the things that I recommended that I heard from another friend who was widowed is joining widow groups, support mm-hmm. groups, or if you're a part of a church, go to church and ask people if there's a widow group or some kind of a support group for people that have loss in their life. And yeah. so I suggested that to him. He didn't know about it. And so I'm hoping that he may maybe took the step to, to go get some support because I feel like he's very lonely. Oh, and yeah. it, it's so true. And, and I, I'd love to say there are a lot of widow widower groups out there and there really aren't. There is one that is nationwide that a lot of people can find in churches. Uh, it's for all types of grievers, which is, is great and a wonderful support, but sometimes you just want to be with somebody that suffered, that's a, a fellow widower or a fellow widow, because what you're going through is a little different. Um, so that's mm-hmm. where I come in to help. Yeah. Thank you. And so when you are, you're going into companies and speaking at conferences, right. To educate them on taking steps to move forward in their, their life. Talk a little so, bit more about your topics and. Sure, sure. So the bulk of my work, Sabrina, is with widows, I'm 100% with widows, and I work one-on-one with them uh, in, a, in a coaching environment. And I meet them wh- where they are because there are some widows that just lost their spouse or frankly, may their spouse may still be living but received a terminal diagnosis. And you start grieving r- right when you get that terminal diagnosis. And so some of them want to just set themselves up for success. You know, if one can be successful as a widow. Um, And then there are some that are a little further along and they're kind of like, okay, I am getting up in the morning. I'm getting out of bed. I'm doing it, but there has to be more. And I have no, you know, and they have no idea what their next step looks like. What is my future? My future was supposed to be with this the love of my life. And now they're gone. And, and how do you figure out what your new future is? And so I help them with that as well. Okay. I love that. So you do professional and public speaking, but you also do one-on-one coaching. I do. I do. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that our audience knows that so that in case they need some resources, that they can reach out to you, Jody. Yeah, absolutely. And there are companies out there that reach out to me because they have employees who have suffered a loss and they want to help them have a support. And so I'm able to support them, you know, through human resource contacts as well. Great. Thank you. My next question is, what are you most grateful for right now? <laughs> You know, so right now, this has been, well, an unusual week a little bit. Um, I lost my mother-in-law this week. She was 94, lived a very full, enriched life. Uh, This was my late husband's mother. And I'm grateful for my extended family and for my late husband's family, because not all widows or widowers can say that. The relationship can change sometimes with your in-laws. Sometimes it can become stronger and sometimes it can become weaker. And so I'm grateful that in my case, it became stronger and that I have them in my life. My daughters have them in their lives and I'm grateful for that. Oh, well, I'm sorry for your loss, but it seems like she lived an amazing life. 93. She did. She really did. That's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Well, I'll keep you in my prayers for sure. 
Thank you. Well, what is the best way? I'm going to wrap it up, but what is the best way for our listeners to get a hold of you, Jody? Sure. So the most direct way is my website. I have a website, Widows in the Workplace, just widowsintheworkplace.com. There you could sign up for my newsletter, send me an email if you want to get in touch, just check out what I do. I'd love to hear from you. Awesome. I will definitely put your website in the description and wherever we are posting this so that people can get a hold of you. Super. Yeah. Thanks, well, thank you this again. Has been fun. Yeah. Thanks again, Jody, for joining me today. And uh, we'll talk soon. Sounds great. Have a great awesome. day. Hey there. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. Definitely hit the like and subscribe button and turn on your notifications. So each time we drop a video, you'll be the first to notice. And also, I'd really appreciate this if you share this with a friend or family member and spread the word about my YouTube channel. Thank you. I love you. Mwah.